So I just got this flashback the other day, something I haven't thought about in a really long time. When I was in high school, we had toilet paper in the girls' bathroom that was not an actual roll of toilet paper. It was very small, scratchy napkins. And each stall of the girls' room had what looked like a napkin dispenser, like the kind of napkins that you would use at a roadside hot dog stand. But that was supposed to be for wiping ourselves. Um, but the, the toilet paper didn't even have like any sort of a texture. Like it was very um, slippy. So you would go to take napkins out and like, okay, my hand is about five inches. I feel like it was just about maybe four, four by four. So it was like a four by four square of toilet paper. And, you know, you couldn't roll it into a mound. Like, I, I feel like that's like, that's my method. I don't know what other people do, but I feel like that rolling method like protects your hand. So you would have these squares and so you would never want to take a crap at school because imagine like how you would deal with these small like ice cream stand napkin things. Uh, you know, if you put like three or four of them in your hand at once and try to wipe like they all go in different directions. So it's just a disaster. And then on top of that, now keep in mind, this is the girls room. So we're dealing with like monthly periods and pads and whatever else. There was no adequate soap in the soap dispenser. The soap dispenser was like this weird, it, like it was, it was filled with this powder that was like Comet, you know, it was like, uh, I don't know, Ajax powdered soap. So, and most of the time there wasn't even anything in there. Like, I don't know what, like what the deal was. Like, why didn't they have normal soap in the girl's room? I mean, you're talking the girl's bathroom. This is disgusting. It's a wonder that we weren't sick, like, more often than we were. Like, I don't remember being particularly ill in in the girls, you know. In, like, I don't remember being particularly ill um, in high school. And uh, I also don't know how, like, I, like, what did we do every month? That's really disgusting. Um... I remember one time I found a poop in there. Like, I walked in. <laughs> I walked into a bathroom stall. And there was a turd in there. That was the size of, like, a horse turd. And it, I don't know where it started or where it ended. Like, it wasn't a log at all. It was just a blob. I was like, what am I seeing? Oh, my God. And then I don't, like, again, with the toilet paper. I don't even want to know. I don't want to know. It was just, it was just horrible. It was horrible. Um, and then we also had these fat people. Now, no offense if you're large, but, you know, when you had to change classes, obviously you had traffic going down the hall, like foot traffic. People would be going in two different directions depending on where their next class was. Well, every so often you would have a very large person taking up both sides of the hall and causing a traffic jam. And it seems like I was often behind one. And then also, um, uh, there was a point where there were hair pullers. Um, so we had some folks, uh, of a different persuasion, I'll say, uh, they were fond of us ladies who, you know, had pale skin and long hair and they would sneak up behind us and yank our hair uh so that was fun for a while uh and then the final thing was that I had people that would run up to me <laughs> I had a special friend of a different uh shade um he or she I don't know which it was uh would run up to me <laughs> when we were changing class and yell weak ankles because I had like very thin ankles and uh, apparently people noticed this. So I started calling this person Gumby because they had one of those wedge hairdos because it was, you know, 
it was either either the eighties or the nineties that this was going on. Like I graduated in ninety one, so it was probably nineteen ninety that these kinds of hijinks and shenanigans were going on. Um, but anyway, yeah. So we had traffic jams in the hallway. We had um, the hair pullers, and then we had my friend Gumby, <laughs> who would yell weak ankles. <laughs> And one day I just got so mad. I'm like, I don't even know what gender you are. But now that would be totally offensive if I said it in this day and age. But, you know, in 1990 or whatever that was, like, people were just like, because it was true. Um, and then what else? What else happened? Oh, we had a very inappropriate band teacher. Uh, he was gay, which was fine. Like, whatever. No one cared. He didn't bother us necessarily. Then he would say, like, little weird things, like, when we were supposed to be marching in the marching band, um, he would be like, okay, now remember, when you're marching, you better tighten those butt cheeks, you know, I want to, I want to be able to bounce a quarter off your butt, and we're like, what? This is not appropriate. Um, so yeah, I don't know, like, strange things, like, little, little, little strangeness.